I was just a little curious if anybody out there has any clue what this is. I'm just showing my hand here for purposes of a scale. It's uh, kind. Of, it's made out of. It looks like cardboard, probably, on my uh, camera here. But it's actually a cork. It's made out of cork. I bought it at. Well, I didn't even buy it. They gave it to me. Well, actually, actually, it is cardboard in the interior, and then the outside two pieces. Just the, the, this piece and this piece is cork. What I've been using it for is uh, my cats. It's been out in what I like to call Fort Babs, where my cats play. And I put it there for scratching post, which uh, you can see. Uh, Susie, anyway, is the only one that scratches on it, but she's been hitting it pretty heavy there. She she likes it pretty good as a scratching post. Uh, believe it or not, I sell it to price sticker on it here. They actually were trying to sell this at a thrift store for 10 bucks, and <laughs> which is just incredible to me that they would try to sell something like this for 10 bucks. But anyway, they were moving to a different thrift store, and they were getting rid of a lot of stuff. And uh, they were giving this away for free, so I got it. And I said, well, I'll just use it for a cat scratching post, which is, oh, yeah, there you can see Susie has really, Susie's really done a number on it there. You know, the more people that could see something, the the uh, more chance uh, there would be that they could identify it. But unless this is some kind of thing where you, maybe you stack up like, a dozen of them and use it for a wine rack or something I don't know I just I can't figure it out so uh, send me a comment there if, you, if anybody can figure out what in the heck this thing is here send me a comment saying what it is besides this cat scratching post and and something to hold up one corner of what I call Fort Babs um, but what is it for real Send me a comment. Wine rack? Portable round cheapo wine rack. That is just really it actually is just about the right the right size holes here to Ooh, Okay. So it looks like uh, Looks like we got just a little just a mite more work to do on the Pestinator 3000. So until next week everybody, this has been no, Abraham. No, this has been no, Abraham. This has been no, Abraham. This has been no, Abraham. With another edition of this here old bus. This has been no, Abraham. With another edition of this here old bus. Okay, now here's something I'm on my skating path. Here's a little rock that somebody drew a picture on. Ordinarily, ah, about lost it. Ordinarily, I'd frown on such a thing. But you gotta admit, it's not like the face of natural beauty here. This is a rock that was brought in. This rock was asking for it. It was, I mean, it just stuck its head out there. And although I wouldn't do this myself, this rock had it coming. It was asking for it. Besides that, see where they've placed all these rocks here. These are a long ways off of the path. Most of the rocks that they've placed here are absolutely right up against the path, which to me was the most stupid, idiotic thing they could possibly do. I mean, there's maintenance involved. They've got to weed eat around these rocks, but that's not the main thing. The main thing is that an out of control skater such as myself, or a biker, could take a fall and just whamp, whomp, right into the old... Okay, this next little tidbit is about a little design thing that I think is kind of cool. And I just never had noticed it before until, oh, about six months ago. I mean, maybe it's been out a couple years and I've been living under a rock, I don't know. So if, I, if I've been living under a rock, you guys can tell me. But anyway, here we have a Heinz tomato ketchup bottle says stay clean cap right there all right and this cap actually really does stay clean I mean here we go it's got just a little tiny little bit there I don't let me wipe it off I was fooling around here a little earlier I think that was more my fault than it was but anyway here you go you pretty much like you just put it out there and just look I mean it just stays clean 
put it out. Put it up really fast. I mean, usually if you put out a little bit of ketchup and then put it up really fast like that, it's going to get all over the cap. And you'd have to do, well, you know, I just stuck that cap down in the ketchup there. But, I mean, that's, to me, that's pretty cool. I mean, if you held it out sideways here and squeezed it, yeah, it's going to, that's not even really on the surface of it. That's just kind of hanging out there in midair, sort of. So, go ahead and wipe that off. So, yeah, if you do it, if you do it sideways, you could get maybe a little bit there. But even then, even then it's hard. So, anyway, that's just something that I thought was pretty cool that they designed that. I've been a big ketchup fanatic all my life. As a matter of fact, I'm going to save that. I'm going to put it back in my jar. There's a lot of ketchup there. Okay, so uh, that's just one little tidbit. And I don't know what. A couple of minutes of wasted time for everybody. All right. Look at Zoid out.